हेलो हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर एमडीई ट्यूटोरियल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट एंड टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन इंप्रूव अवर सिक्योर स्कोर फॉर द डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट एंड नॉट ओनली फॉर द डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट इट्स द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री so let's get started with this video so now i have logged into uh, microsoft 365 defender and uh, let's search the option that's called a secure score so today we are going to talk about uh, this feature the secure score so let it load so now here you can see in the overall score i have the 44.6 percent that means is uh, i have to improve a lot of things in our infra and here is the category uh the breakdown points for the category like the identity is a 17 percent the data is a zero percent completed device is a 51 percent apps is a 24 percent so there are the many areas to improve our the secure score and here is the action to review is the uh, regressed to address there are the 101 points are to be addressed yet and one is already planned risk accepted is a zero recently added zero and the recently updated is zero so if we talk about the overall score the your score is a 44.6 out of 100 and the organization of the similar size is a 47 so this is came from the uh, internet like the globe so organization with the similar size that means as i'm under the lab so they have a uh, 47 around the secure score let's see the other option and uh, then we'll come back to on this point the recommendation so here is the all the recommendation which has to be done which has to be completed to improve our secure score so if we go here and talk about uh, this set the daily message limit uh, set the maximum number internal so all these part has done so no action required on this state like the completed and if you go here uh, the deploy the lock collector to the shadow IT block user who reach the message limit and uh, set the bulk compliance BSL threshold uh, the retain spin so here is a very big list to complete it and uh, whichever we can complete it that can improve our the secure score so again here is uh, the word is showing the plant so this activity is already planned and uh, this has to be addressed here so it's uh, uh, we didn't start working on this so we have to address it and now here is a, like a category what type of category it is it is a identity this comes from the identity that is like a, related to the Azure Active Directory. So these points related to the Azure Active Directory. MFA and ensure all users complete the multi-factor authentication. Now here is a Defender for Office. Here is like uh, create the safe link policy for the email messaging. So one is related to this. And uh, I think rest of, uh, not rest of, lot of things is related to the Defender for Endpoint. So here, uh, the block all office application from creating a child process that has to improve. Now block the abuse for exploit a vulnerable signed driver. So let's see the one by one how we can improve this. Uh, let's uh, work on this part. So once you click on any of uh, this recommendation action, it will give you the details so attack so that uh, this comes under the asr rule are the most effective most of the uh, blocking common areas uh, common attack techniques that the cyber attack malicious software asr rule so uh, this action recommended action is indicated uh, that you have to create a asr rule and that will block to pixie or the wmi commands and uh, that will this will improve your the security score so actually this should be blocked uh, by this now this is the exploit entity where uh, on which device you have the exploit entity so we have the two devices two defender devices where this uh, the exploit as a exploit entities that means these two devices are impacted now this section is for uh, the implementation this will guide you how you can implement uh, this uh, pixie and the WMI command. So let me go to manage in the defender. Click here. So it will open in a new window. 
and that will show you the recommendation so actually it will redirect to your the vulnerability management that will help you to fix uh, your this recommendation action or he can say that will uh, help you to fix your the vulnerability so now again here is the brief introduction about the pixie and the wmi commands and this is the journal and uh, the recommendation sites okay so if you click here then it will give you the uh, the microsoft link to where you can go and how you can study about this so now let me close this part and this comes under the category the secure control asr uh, uh this is the asr attack surface reduction and the configuration id see id 2510 exploit devices 2 so two devices are impacted and impact is uh the 14.0 uh, is down and we have the windows uh 10 and see he is not available for this so now here is the open the recommendation for the safe devices let's see the other parts as well the recommendation ensure that microsoft defender is the turn on on the primary real-time protection enabled and enable the asr rule in the block mode using the mem the guru policy or the mdm so this recommendation will fix our uh, this uh, recommendation actions the exploit devices as i showed you it's a two devices activities if we can see on the devices will be listed here so there is a no activity so let's go back for uh, this part requests okay so if you go here all down yeah so here is a uh, request uh, request remediation so if you click here then uh, it will it will automatically actually fix it or if you want to do that uh, remediation you can do it yourself so uh, all exploit devices devices with the no expected user impact so open a ticket no need to open a ticket and uh, now go to the uh, request due date and now here is the priority is a i can say it's a low and you can give your the command now let's go you must have to the remediation to oh uh, date was not selected so the 27 the same date you cannot keep here now let's go here and exploit all the devices if you want to select you can do that or if you want to add it anything you can go back and add it again now go here and now this will be a uh, review and fix so you have requested for uh, the remediation and uh, now track your the uh, the activities how it's going on you can go here but the better idea you can go with the asr rule and create what it asking so if i see this is a uh i can say yeah so it's created actually two activities to work on this and once it's done you can mark as a completed so it's created a activities which you have to perform and once it's done can mark as a completed so how we can do that uh, uh this is one one i created yesterday and one i created today okay so uh let me go to the enable the asr rule block mode using either the mem okay so let's go to the asr rule mm, to, 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 to. let me go to here and point and i'm showing to uh, i'm giving one example how you can fix your the vulnerability for this part and now here you have to go with the asr rule and here are already the many uh, uh this asr rule has created for uh, um for this uh, related to the asr so let's see what type of what type of asr rule we needed to create here let me go here and what it's asking uh, asr rule block mode using either the mem or this so we have to use the asr on the block mode let's go here and uh, let's create a policy now windows 10 and letter and the attack surface rule now create here and uh, 
to quick okay you can say like the asr rule for testing now let's go to the next and now here what it suggested it's saying the you enable the asr role in the block mode either for this and this is for the pixie and the wmi command so let's try to do, do that so here is a block the process creating the operating system and it should be in the block mode and that uh, will fix your um your recommendation or your the vulnerability asr rule as per the exception if you need any exceptions you can create it here but for now just we want to uh, create uh, this for uh, to fix the vulnerability so now rest of the things we will consider it later or if you have existing asr rule you can modify that as well so let me see if i can have uh, any asr rule okay so here i created a many as asr rule for the testing you can see in, uh, in my the uh, video in the same tutorial how to create the asr rule so this is the asr rule let's see where it deployed and we can modify just this only okay so let me open this asr and let's see whether it's uh, implemented on these two devices or not so now here i can see this is the existing rule i am checking which i created the last time okay so i have the one devices m2v but uh, based on our uh, based on our exploit uh, this recommendation we have the i think other two devices so let's add these two devices m2v and this okay cool now here m2v is available let's go and verify this policy what the policy we configured that time so i'm planning to add it the existing uh, asr rule so that can fix our the recommendation or the vulnerability okay so why our device was vulnerable because here is the block process creation from the pxwmi is in audit mode so let's put it on the block mode or uh, if we need the exception we can put it here so once i done this change let's review and save it and now our vulnerability will fix on this one devices which is uh, reflecting here and uh, let me add the one more device this device so that both the device vulnerability will fix let me go and just check on the which group it's assigned so i have the group assigned this is the group asr rule so let me go to okay let me ignore this now go to the group and add the device so this block uh, wmi and the pixie will be on the block mode to fix this vulnerability let's try to do that now yes sir and now here we have the members sorry members now add the device let's see LAP laptop i think perfect now we done it so once this policy reach to this device then automatically our this vulnerability will fix so once we done all those things uh i'm sorry here so once we done all those things then we can mark as a complete here okay so this is as a mark completed and once you complete your task you can just mark as a completed okay so now our task is completed which we created to do uh, to work on this and uh, now our uh, there is a no ticket so our this vulnerability has fixed for this devices now let's go and refresh this part to uh, this is a six number block let me copy this what we were working let's refresh this console and see whether this vulnerability is here or not okay so now uh, i have login again in the secure score but uh, 
after the implementation also it's showing the same so that means it's, it's not uh, it's not remediated again so once this is remediation run for this devices then this device will remove it so actually i deployed uh this asr rule which we have put it on the block mode and it applied on the two machines and it got success so once this remediation again it will run and then it will remove this part from uh, uh from your the section and it will show as a completed so uh, you can see in it after some time so guys uh and uh when this remediation the last sync was let me just check it something more so last sync was ran on the 25th and today is at uh, today is the 26th so that's why it uh it not showing so once this uh, uh this uh remediation has run on these two devices and then it will show the automatically completed so we already perform our action what it required uh like whatever it's mentioned here for the security recommendation so guys uh thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video if you need any other uh like a uh, remediation so you can click here and uh you can go to the devices how many devices are impacted with this and uh then you can go for the implementation so guys that's how you can fix or improve your the um secure score so thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video